this is the opening segment of this video. What my plans are is to show you all the various rivers that tie in to make the Colorado River. I'm going to show you to start with where the Continental Divide is here, driving across, across Wind River Mountain Range in Wyoming. This is the, actually the beginning point, the farthest north piece of the river, Green River, that starts off the Wind River Range. And I'm going to show a picture of what that area looks like from Google Earth. And then from there, we're going to go and show you what it, where the actual Colorado River starts. If you like our content, please reach down and like, smash that like and subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. It helps keep us making new video content. And if you wouldn't mind, share it out. In this segment of the video, I want to show where the Green River starts in the area I had showed you already where the Wind River mountain range right here where my hand is Colorado going. River. So this is where the Green River starts. And it basically has a bunch of tributaries coming from the snow melt. So if you keep following the Green River down, it comes all the way out of Wyoming touches a little bit of Colorado and then continues down through Utah to where it ties in with the Colorado River right down here. I was actually able to find the piece of Green River here to share with you. Um, as you can see, the water flows fairly well, coming all the way from the Wind River Range. It's very green water. Okay, in this segment of the video, I'm going to show you where the Colorado River actually starts. And I've gone through Google Earth here and placed little blue markers that follow the Colorado River and make it easy to follow. So this is Lake Granby. Right now it's at a nine foot down from full pool, very minimal loss. And it feeds down river here to where William Fork Reservoir, which is also slightly down, it's basically full, ties into the Colorado River as well. And then up here you can see the Wolford Mountain Reservoir that feeds down into the Colorado River. And coming farther down, you see the Green Mountain Reservoir that feeds into the Colorado River. All of these, you can look them up, are slightly down. They're basically still at full pool. So the Colorado River keeps running down to where, at this point, the Eagle River joins into it. Yeah, yeah the Eagle the, River. How rapid it's running. Yeah. This is a good reason to own a dash cam. If you're going in areas that people may want to travel someday or they're, they're going to be crossing from state to state, it gives them an option that, okay, well, I, I liked the looks of that, mm -hmm. that road. I want to go that way. And the Eagle River starts up here at a small little dam as well. And if you look in all this area, basically the snow is gone. It's melted. And this, this was taken April of 22. So... In April already, the water is, I mean, the snow has melted down to the point to where the rivers are running, but it's not a huge amount. And you can see from where the Continental Divide goes, all the water coming from this area, from even all the way up into Wyoming, where I showed you Green River, it feeds into the Colorado River. Now, in this area here, you can see where there's small other tributaries that feed into it, which are not huge, so I didn't go into it. But there's numerous other areas that feed into the Colorado River. Wow. Amazing looking mountains. Yeah. It's so popular. And 
at this point right now, I think what I'm trying to tell you is that although we've been having some nice flash floods that are filling our reservoirs, they're a minimal bandage. They're not, they're not going to save the dam. All of these mountain ranges are extremely tall. The Colorado Rockies and Wind River Range are very tall. So um, they should have still snowpack on them now that's, that's draining off. And in the one that I showed you on Green River that's over here, I have a short video that I've played in it that shows where I came across the Continental Divide in the snow. I believe it was the 30th of January. The snow, it so, had six inches, minimal amount of snow. So by now the snow pack is gone. So, crossing the Colorado River. So the rivers aren't running that much. And over here you see the, the Gunnis River. And it starts out over here at Taylor Park Reservoir. Which at this point is fairly full too. So the water is still out of all of these areas, all of the snowpack area. You can see where it's where the water is coming from to tie into the Colorado River. So now in this area around here, right here, is Moab. Just a few days ago, Moab had a hundred year flood event where they had flash flooding coming through town and actually caused major damage in town with all the sediment and debris. So as you can see, that's on the Colorado River. So that, that will feed into the Colorado River. And I have a short video I can play in this area as well. On the left side, you can see the heavy rains that were starting to fall on the mountains on the left. We just drove through town of Moab. And I guess apparently we just barely missed all the flash flooding. But with all that being said, still with that massive hundred year event, flood, flash flood event, it still only brought Lake Mead up a little over two feet. So, I mean, it's a band-aid. Granted, it was um, a godsend for us to get it. But between Lake Powell and Lake Mead, they really didn't it really didn't repair the problem. So you can see all the way down where it gets to Lake Powell and I'll provide what the current status is for Lake Powell. And keep going down the Colorado River where it goes through the Grand Canyon and then it gets over here to Lake Mead. So in this area I have done more recent videos showing Lake Mead and right now um, I didn't do anything in Caldwell Bay <clears throat> but it's low just like all the others. I did the Boulder Beach in this area and then up here at Echo Bay I did where it has the abandoned marina and then farther up here was St. Thomas Ghost Town. So all of this area is, um, it's in a huge drainage area that feeds coming down the Colorado River, as you see, coming from up here, like I say, uh, Lake Granby is where the Colorado River actually starts here. And then you come way up into Wyoming at the Wind River mountain range where the Green River starts that feeds in. So you have major water feeds that come into the Colorado River. And for it to still everything right now, I mean, you've got a band-aid right now because the lake has come up a couple of feet, but I don't want people to think that that's the savior, that everything is done. 
So mm -hmm. as of yesterday, the lake level is at 1,043.61 elevation. And when I was there last on my last video, it was 1,040.77. So it's an increase of 2.84 feet. Now we'll have to see how that compares like in a month or so. But I believe it's still going to go down.